Welcome to the Cosmic Frontier, Space Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking revelation from NASA. The James Webb Telescope, a marvel of modern astronomy, has made an astonishing discovery on Saturn's icy moon, Enceladus. Hold onto your seats as we unravel the mystery of an ocean world far beyond our Earth. This is not just a story, it's a journey into the unknown, a glimpse into the future of space exploration. NASA has recently revealed a significant discovery. Saturn's moon Enceladus harbors a vast ocean, positioning it as a prime candidate for harboring life within our solar system. When Enceladus, a major moon of Saturn, is not just an icy celestial body, it's also home to one of the biggest saltwater oceans known in the solar system. This revelation comes from intensive research and advanced probing, overturning previous assumptions that moons were too barren and desolate due to their small size, extreme cold, and remote locations. The discovery on Enceladus indicates that beneath its icy exterior lies a hidden depth of liquid water. This intriguing phenomenon isn't limited to Enceladus alone, but extends to several other moons and even some dwarf planets on the fringes of the Keeper Belt. The James Webb Space Telescope has played a pivotal role in these findings, providing confirmation of the vast amounts of liquid water long suspected to be present on Enceladus. This breakthrough not only reshapes our understanding of Enceladus, but also opens up new possibilities in the search for extraterrestrial life. When Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, is astonishing scientists with its dynamic water activity. Despite its relatively small size compared to Saturn, Enceladus is ejecting massive fountains of water into space, contributing to the magnificent rings of the gas giant. Beneath its seemingly dull and frozen surface, cryovolcanoes are active, suggesting that the moon's interior is far from inert. This raises the possibility that its ocean might host life forms beyond our current imagination. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured remarkable images of these phenomena. It shows dozens of ice fountains bursting through the moon's icy crust, shining brilliantly against the backdrop of space. These images, made possible by Webb's advanced filtering techniques, reveal fountains stretching hundreds of kilometers from Enceladus's surface. A recent close examination by NASA researchers of these images uncovered a particularly massive fountain near the moon's south pole. This fountain, the largest ever observed in space, measures over 9,500 kilometers in length. To put it in perspective, it's 20 times wider than Enceladus itself and long enough to extend far beyond its surface, showcasing the moon's dynamic and intriguing nature. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed that Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, is creating a ghostly halo around the planet with its water vapor fountains. This intense water activity has established Enceladus as the primary source of water in Saturn's system. The halo, or torus, formed by Enceladus contributes significantly to Saturn's E-ring, which is its largest and outermost ring. Webb's sophisticated instruments have identified that a considerable portion of the water droplets in Saturn's system originates from the vapor Enceladus emits during its 33-hour orbit. The moon is capable of expelling an astonishing 300 liters of water vapor per second into space. Webb's observations indicate that about 30% of this water stays close to Enceladus, while the remaining 70% spreads throughout the Saturn system. The James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities extend far beyond capturing stunning images. It can analyze the light emissions from the water vapor fountains, turning them into a wealth of scientific data. Notably, in the spectrum of light scattered by the water, researchers have detected evidence of organic compounds. These compounds are capable of undergoing chemical reactions to form amino acids, which are fundamental to life as they are the building blocks of proteins. This discovery opens up new possibilities for understanding the potential for life in outer space. The potential for life on Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, is a topic of great interest in the scientific community, especially with the advancements in space observation technologies. The presence of subterranean oceans on Enceladus was first hinted at 
in some of the Hubble Space Telescope's images. These observations suggested that one of the solar system's largest oceans might be hidden beneath a thick layer of ice, a theory further supported by measurements. Before the James Webb Space Telescope's involvement, NASA was already planning an expedition to explore Enceladus more closely. The mission's goal is to penetrate the moon's icy crust using modern drilling systems to search for signs of life. The prototype drill, designed for this mission, is a high-tech instrument resembling a snake in both appearance and movement. This design was inspired by animals known for their graceful locomotion on land and in water. This snake drill is intended to navigate through the thick ice of Enceladus and extract samples from the ocean beneath. The mission, a collaborative effort involving NASA and other international partners, is scheduled to launch later this decade. Scientists are particularly interested in the hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor of Enceladus, as they could provide ideal conditions for life, similar to those found in Earth's deep oceans. This mission represents a significant step in the quest to discover extraterrestrial life. The planned mission to Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, aims to explore its environment for potential microbial life, drawing parallels to the black smokers found in Earth's deep oceans. This mission will employ advanced technology, including snake drills and a range of sophisticated instruments designed to analyze the chemical composition of the water and search for signs of life. One of the key techniques to be used is wet chemistry, which involves methods like colorimetry, gravimetry, and titration. These methods are crucial for detecting elements and compounds in liquid samples, with a particular focus on essential nonmetals like carbon and hydrogen. Through elemental analysis, the instruments can identify the specific elements present in the compounds found in Enceladus's water. A robot or probe equipped with these instruments could ascertain the precise chemical makeup of the water, offering insights into the presence of organic compounds or other life-essential elements. Interestingly, to achieve this, probe might not need to drill deep into the moon's surface. Collecting a sample from one of Enceladus's water fountains could suffice to detect traces of carbon, amino acids, and potentially even life. In addition to organic analysis, the mission will feature probes equipped with specialized sensors to detect minerals and other compounds in the water fountains. These sensors are capable of transmitting real-time data back to Earth, allowing for rapid interpretation and response to any detected anomalies. This mission represents a significant step in space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life, utilizing practical applications of advanced scientific techniques. On Enceladus, a range of instruments and techniques are set to be incorporated into autonomously functioning robots and probes. Currently, the world's leading engineers and most innovative thinkers are dedicated to developing technologies capable of withstanding the moon's harsh environment. These robots could be designed to land on Enceladus's surface, positioning themselves near active fountains to collect direct samples. Alternatively, flying probes might be used to traverse through the fountains, gathering samples from the water vapor clouds. The integration of real-time analyzers in these machines is a crucial aspect of the mission. It would enable immediate processing of data, providing invaluable insights into the moon's chemical makeup and its potential to harbor life. This mission to Enceladus raises intriguing questions about what life, if it exists there, could look like, how it evolved, and its origins. Let's imagine a fictional journey to Enceladus, traveling back in time to the early days of the solar system. Picture a comet laden with primitive bacteria from the distant cosmos, colliding with Enceladus billions of years ago. This hypothetical scenario explores the possibility of how life, in its most basic form, might have been introduced to the moon, setting the stage for a fascinating exploration of extraterrestrial life. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blesovia Science TV, 
you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blessovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.